So once again, I have got a deadline to try and get some work done on the farmstead and I have no idea if I manage it in time. My mum's coming to visit in April and we've got to have a proper working shower by then with hot water and everything. I have no idea what I'm doing and it's been quite the learning journey so far trying to get this bathroom done. Hi, we're Harriet, Mauro and this is Toffee. And in 2021, we bought four acres of land on the east coast of Spain with the dream of living a simpler, more sustainable life in tune with nature, the seasons and above all our values. Join us as we try and bring our beautiful land back to productivity, restore our little stone cottage and learn how to make a living on our land. So component number one is the water. This is our cold water source. So we've got some water at the back of the house. It's near to the kitchen, which is there, and the bathroom, which is just at the end, where we want hot water. And in this little shed here, we've got our solar equipment and a pump, which should be able to pump the cold water to a instant water heater. So here we have our little water pump. This is a DC pump connected directly to the batteries. You might have seen us install this on a previous video and it's got an intake and an outtake, neither of which are connected yet. The intake is going to just feed through a normal garden hose connected on here through a hole in this wall and go into the IBC which is just the other side of this wall. The outtake I'm not too sure about, it takes the same kind of hose connector on here. So it's just a normal half inch garden hose pipe universal connector just goes on there. So obviously a hose pipe needs to go on here but then I'm not sure exactly how the hose pipe is going to connect to the next component in the chain which is going to be the hot water instant hot water boiler which i suppose will be mounted on the back of this wall somewhere and then from the instant hot water heater which let's say it's here it's hopefully going to have some outtake pipes or one outtake pipe which then splits into um, a pipe that goes into the kitchen at the back of this brick wall and a pipe that goes into the bathroom shower which is that little gray thing at the end this thing here which is the instant hot water boiler it's upside down just so i can show you the connections that it's got at the bottom it's got the gas in which is just going to go to a gas canister that's fine that's no problem it's got hot water out not sure about this connection and cold water in so i'm not sure about these two Having this hose pipe in here is temporary. What is going to happen is I'm going to get um, a better tap for here um, for the bottom of the IBC so that we get the pressure from the water actually contributing to the intake so that the pump doesn't have to work so hard, the pump doesn't have to suck. The pressure from here will um, help feed the water into the pump through that little hole there. But this tube is obviously like too big. This is just a this is just the wrong the wrong tap. Um, I just it's the only tap I had for an IBC at this point, so I'll get that replaced soon. I could, in theory, test this now because it came with this rubbish little <laughs> shower head. The only thing is I don't have the batteries, so I could either go quickly to town and get the batteries and test this little setup, um, or I could just carry on with the actual hot water outlet, which is not going to be this thing. Um, 
I just got back from town because I had to go out and get some other bits and pieces so I don't really fancy going in again. I think I'm just gonna keep this on standby for testing it soon and I'm gonna have a think about how we're actually gonna get the hot water from here into the bathroom. So we're gonna be using this 16 millimeter compression piping. At least I think that's what it's called. That's what it's called in Spanish anyway. And it's cool because it's in a roll, but it's also like malleable. You can bend it to the right. Well, you can bend it straight. You can't bend it into like a tight corner, but there's like elbows and things which you can use to connect two pieces together for tighter corners. Anyway, I'm planning to unroll this and make it all straight. And this is gonna go from the in some water heater along the back of that wall and then into the shower and the bathroom um, at the end and I'll probably put a tea in it somewhere um, so that some water can go into the kitchen which is that brick building that you see here hopefully I'm pointing in the right place So from inside the bathroom, we already had this bit of piping coming in. This was coming from an IBC that was mounted on the roof of the house. Uh, so this was just a cold water inlet. And I'm hoping to maybe be able to reuse some of the actual piping. feeling very defeated today because we bought a generator to charge our batteries because it's been raining pretty much for a week and we've got another week of rain forecast and we really are not doing well with the solar and it doesn't work <laughs> so I don't know what's going on I've tried all the normal troubleshooting stuff online um, the generator works fine but plugging it into the charge controller doesn't seem to work the charge controller doesn't seem to want to pick it up or use it to charge the batteries so I don't know what's going on there and I'm not sure what to do at the moment so I guess um, I think I'm just gonna take Tofu on a little walk uh, up the track into the village and buy some batteries different batteries the double D batteries that I need for the shower My love, you're such a fragile thing, I know. And with the winter comes the ice, the snow, but I'm it all. Okay, I've had a nap, I've had some lunch, I'm feeling better. Um, let's try this instant water heater and see if it can work. I've tried pretty much everything I can think of with the generator to try and get it to work with the charge controller. Um, nothing that I've tried that we've seen online seems to be working. I've even tried plugging in a blender um, at the same time as having the inverter plugged into the generator to try and potentially regulate the voltage output of the generator. There's some people saying it might be too like wobbly for the inverter to deal with, but plugging in another device can sometimes regulate that voltage output. I don't know, um, but it didn't work. But I have managed to grind up a lot of almonds, which uh, I was waiting for a sunny day to do. So if we achieve nothing else today, at least I've got some almond flour. Got time on our side when I stayed on home. I need you on my fire. Alright, I'm putting the fuse in the pump. Oh, I'm actually a bit scared. I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope everything doesn't explode. 
Oh my god, it's coming out! Okay, it's not hot. Oh, you're not on, okay. Okay, we've got a leak here. Okay, we've got a leak here as well. We've got a reading. Temperature. What was that noise? And why is there so much water here? Okay, well something happened. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. What is going on here? Why is there fire there? I don't know what to do about this. It's still kind of on fire. I guess I just have to leave it. It smells terrible. Okay, I need to un... I need to unconnect this, I guess. This couldn't have gone much worse. The pump was making a weird noise. Now this thing's on fire. I'm not sure what I did wrong with the instant water boiler. I am pretty sure there's video evidence of me tightening all the joins, including the gas join. So I don't think we could have had a leak. Um, I really don't know what happened there, but I had to order another one online. So while we're waiting for that to arrive, I'm carrying on with some other work in the bathroom. I'm building a little sink area and I'm not quite sure how it's going to look but I have a rough idea. We have an old sink that we found and some old tiles that we found when we moved here um, in a shed. So I'm thinking between that I can make something half decent. We got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know Every time Day 510 of rain, let's see what the damage is. Okay, we're at 67% and it says we're charging at 0 watts, but the machine does say it's charging, so... I'll check it again in a couple of hours and see if we've managed to get back up to maybe 80. Would be good. You'll see we also have another generator here. We've borrowed another one, a um, slightly smaller one, but with a alternator on it which I think makes the output more regular which we wondered whether maybe that was um, the problem with the inverter that it needed a very regular output don't exactly know what I'm talking about but we've tried all sorts of things um, anyway this generator didn't work either the exact same symptoms the inverter just didn't recognize it at all so so yeah still no luck on that so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it over five Got this place on Do you feel that like we got something strong? It's still raining. It's going to be raining for at least another seven to ten days by the forecast. i
got some water boiling over here. I'm going to attempt to have a shower and wash my hair, even though it's not the most inviting of conditions at the moment. Thank you. How was it? Uh, it was. It was okay. <laughs> The worst bit is waiting for the water to boil. When you know you want a shower and you're ready and then you've got to wait 20 minutes for the water. But the shower itself was okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this video, whether it's going to be about the generator or about the bathroom. It seems like it's going to be about both. I don't know. Anyway, another generator update. It's about a week now since we got it and I've just been looking in the manual, which I probably should have done a week ago. And there's one more setting that I think I want to try. It's a setting that um, changes the default source of power from from panels to utility and I thought utility just meant like if you're plugged into the mains like utility grid um, but it seems like it could mean generator as well so I'm going to try changing that. I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> I've got this light on, it's been a long time since this light's been on. I'm charging my laptop, I'm charging everything. This is amazing. <laughs> Honestly, this is a huge relief because, yeah, it has been tough this last week with our power. Um, and knowing that we can now turn the generator on, which is hopefully just going to be a last resort, you know, we don't want it to be on that much, but... Honestly, it's given me a new lease of life now, getting this sorted. I'm going to go and tackle the bathroom again and see what I can get done. got a miniature ecological disaster going on right here. We stupidly decided to put this little bank of herbs right under the roof which has no guttering so the rain's just dripping down into here and it's washing all the lovely compost away and the compost is all just, the nutrients are all just running down the path and we're left with just stones <laughs> here in this uh, in this bed so I can't move it at the moment, it's too heavy, but yeah, this is, uh, this is erosion, soil erosion in action. this towel like tucked into my trousers as somewhere to just like wipe my hands on because I'm just ruining so many pairs of trousers. 
What I really need is one of those like apron things that people use when they're working. You know what I mean? I'm not sure why I did this mirror so low down. Let's just say it's for children and this one's the adult mirror. So you might be wondering a couple of things. Firstly, why did I paint this wall if I'm just going to tile over it? Well, the answer to that is I don't know what I'm doing with anything until about two minutes before I do it. So I didn't know I was going to put the sink here or tile this area. So that's why. And you might also be wondering about these like um, wastewater pipes that I've left in the ground. I showed in another video that these pipes just empty out into next door's field, which I don't know why, how that is a thing. Um, but yeah, there were originally three uh, wastewater pipes in this room. One for the toilet, there was actually a toilet plumbed in which we took out. Uh, one which was, I assume, I assume, for a hand basin, but there was no basin here. And one in this corner, which I assume was maybe for a shower at some point. We blocked in with cement the pipe that was leading from the toilet because we definitely, well, we've got a composting toilet, we don't need a black water pipe. Um, so, and we, and if we did, we definitely wouldn't want it going into next door's field. How is that even a thing? Um, so we filled that one in, but I've left these two open because you never know what might happen in the future. It's just grey water. It's not going to have anything nasty in it. Um, we're not going to be using these grey water pipes at the moment. We're not going to be sending our grey water into next door's field. What we're going to do for now is just put a bucket under the sink to collect the water. And um, for now we're just going to stand in a metal trough, like a small metal trough I think, in the, in the shower. And then we can reuse that water in the garden somewhere. Um, but I just didn't want to cut off our options for the future because you never know what might happen. We might end up buying the field next door. We've kind of got our eye on it. Um, and then we might want to actually use the water that flows into that field, make a compost pile there or something. So I'm just keeping our options open for the moment. We also decided not to do a wet floor in here after all because I was just not confident enough about getting the angle right that it would all flow out properly. Um, so that's why we've just got a basically a plinth which flows towards, slightly towards the, the grey water hole in the bottom of the floor. Um, again, just for the future. If I'm going to do it now, I might as well do it with the view in mind of potentially being able to use that um, grey water exit at some point. There's still a lot left to do on the bathroom, as you can tell. Over the next few days, we had some of the heaviest rain I've experienced so far in Spain, which just seemed to never end. Our generator also stopped working again and then started working again. It's basically just been a challenging few weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching this rather chaotic and all over the place video. And I'll see you next week where I'll be trying not to set fire to the replacement water heater. <laughs> see you next time.